you've probably heard me talk about needing a name for the step van. I keep thinking a little bit more that she's like a pirate ship for the land, a land pirate. Wouldn't it be amazing if I got the side of the van painted out like a ship? I think it would be great. I'm doing a kind of nautical theme of the design and interior design inside and I'm a sea creature. Say goodbye to all my money. Bye money. So time to do some work. Oh, I went to Home Depot last night, got a whole lot more stuff. So I'm just gonna get it all organized so that I can show you what we've got and start doing some work, which is super exciting. Some of the stuff that starts to make things look really cool and pretty and funky. Yay! So all this concrete board is in place. We're waiting for the countertops to go back in before we put the copper. And on this side, behind the oven, I've just put a piece of concrete board here because fire safety is important. So let's put some protection in so that the stuff that I put in front of it, yes, it might be plastic, but there's some fire retardant right behind it. Hi, everybody. So I went shopping and I want to show you some of the stuff I got. Hey, so dusty. And I have a friend who owns an antiques and curio shop and so we stopped by there, she was having a garage sale and I was like, maybe there's some stuff that I can get that will add some character and curiosity to my van and some storage space. So let me show you. First of all, this. So this cupboard, I'm not going to leave it black, I'm going to paint the outside of it white. It's got some little cupboard shelves in it. This is going to hide all of this mess and be a mirror on this wall. And I'm going to sand it and paint it white or something. I got this. Isn't it cute? And it has little teeny tiny tiny drawers. I'm going to have to figure out a way of keeping these drawers closed while I drive. A little cast iron and copper essential oil thing which I want to mount on a wall. This box which opens like this with a hinge. This beautiful bronze decal on it. And so I'm thinking this here might cover another electrical switch. Then we have two bookshelves. This one and this one which I'm gonna mount up here. This curious little corner cupboard which I think will go here once I have something on the wall. And we've already seen that. I got some copper sticker stuff. Uh, contact paper. And that will go on the back of my sliding door. I got some LED light strips which will go around the top of the bed. And this, which I want to put around the edge of the window. And some tile grout for the tiles that are going on in here. And this, which is the creme de la creme. It's a beautiful copper sheeting, which will go behind the fireplace. It's gonna look amazing. Scissors. 
really want to screw this in, but I should probably wait until the countertops are back in so we can see exactly where the height starts and where everything fits. But at least everything will be cut to size. It's beautiful. Gonna drill one more hole like this one for the lights that go above or underneath my overhead cabinets. I'm doing that highly technical eyeballing. This is the last piece of lighting to get installed outside of the LED lights that go around the bed. It's pretty neat. Just turn the heater on because I'm having guests in here for the first time. We're going to have some nettle pesto, a couple of drinks, borrowed a table from our neighbor over there. Hi! Turn the diesel heater on. It's going to warm my able toasty and warm in here in no time at all. The pasta is still a bit chewy, but I think that's kind of typical of I think so. that kind of pasta, right? I've literally never had nettle before. Really? Ever. Oh, I didn't even know about needles. it until one day Amanda Nettle. went foraging and she's like, and I was like, what are you? Nettle. Is nettle. And it's so mm -hmm. healthy, right? So can I ask you what you thought of nettle pesto? Oh, the metal, metal, <laughs> nettle pesto was incredibly awesome. Yay. Thank you for coming for food with me. Hi, Boho Blue Van. Thanks for coming for food. So beautiful today. Look at this forest. Oh, it's so fun to be driving the step van. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so thrilled that I get to do this. So thrilled. One last sheet. This one might need cutting a bit more too. This one's the super shiny one. It's gorgeous. Do, 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 do. This is going over there. And I'm gonna put some copper paint on it. Not pretty. I may have gotten my pots to match. And countertop is all surfaced. Next job is to put the tiles on this piece of wall to put up this bookshelf instead of it being like this, which it normally would be. It's going to be on its side so books would fall out. So I'm weaving, in a way, a ribbon across the front to hold it in. Feels so fun to be finally like planning on putting my books in my van. Like, this is so exciting. <laughs> the idea this will stop the books from falling out not it over towards the side so it's less obvious ready for books Fill in these spaces 
and figure out what to do here. And I'm just debating whether I have enough to tile that too or whether it will so beautiful. Maybe up here we'll tile. I don't know. To be getting to do finishing work, like tiling, is so satisfying. It's like, finally I'm at this point. Yay! Oh, and it looks so pretty. All the tones and the colors and the warmth and the wood and the hues all match it's so freaking pretty i am absolutely thrilled i hope you like it comment below tell me your favorite part of this what i've just shown you so far i'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback i just finished making piles and piles of sawdust sanding all of these beams my hands are sore and there's sawdust everywhere but this is how we almost miss premieres I schedule them and then get carried away working so today I put an alarm on so that I wouldn't miss 3.30 and I can Dust off the, oh my glasses are covered in sawdust. Dust off, come back, and chat with all, you all for half an hour. And if I ever miss one, you can tell that I've been in the van working and completely lost track of time. One of the last big steps before I can get these up on the ceiling. But they definitely need a coat of water. Today's a very exciting day, folks. I have a ladder up because we're putting the chimney in the step van. And then we have to put a chimney hole in there. And that goes out the top. Some copper. That's looking pretty good. Isn't that nice? Yep. Oh, oh. Sink in. Some tiles behind it. Backsplash. Looking good. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, cool. That's nice. Yeah. Varnished walls. Back. Oh yeah. Kind of the skin done. is all on. The I think walls, it needs right? a stain yet. Oh, okay. But. That stuff. The the uh, like the trim. Yeah. The stain. Good. Thanks. Good so I've been figuring okay. out this situation. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is on the inside of the house. Yeah. And that's the part that goes through. This is goes through. So the hole is seven. I can go get my computer and show you. It's all good. I'll, get, I'll just go get all my hole saws. And we can but we do it. need to potentially trim this piece of chimney. Okay. I think we can do that. Yeah. This is the roof ceiling boot that goes on top of the roof. The chimney goes through so we don't get rain in here. And I have to cut this so that this piece of pipe will go through the hole. Better get this right. <laughs> Well, 
Well, I didn't cut it too big. That's good. Well, can I get it through the hole? That's the next question. Yep, I did it good. <laughs> it's like putting my head through a hole in a wetsuit. Look, I did it! Wetsuit, yeah, I do. Free diving. Yeah. Ta da! Yeah. Okay. Anytime you put holes in your ceiling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so quick and easy. Pretty easy, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you have a minute measurement? How big it is? It is five. Cool. So the the five, it may <clears throat> Is that what this is? Yeah. Five exactly? That is five exactly. Okay. So if, I might work. They usually end up a little bigger because they kind of wobble. Yeah. A little. The instructions say make the hole seven. Seriously? Why? That makes sense, actually. Okay. okay. Later, if we get that far. Yeah. My my drill's only a Ryobi. Okay. Well, maybe it won't break. <laughs> A Ryobi's are not that strong compared to Makita's. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go have a look on the inside. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Okay, so we're now to cut through the vapor barrier. Both holes. Yeah, but I guess we need to make Oh my god, daylight! Woohoo! No, that's great! And then we'll just cut this insulation out the way. Then we're just going to cut the insulation. Have a look at, you want to look at this? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! Cool. Okay. And now Can you put can... the outer on now? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes. Okay, so I think we're just gonna cut it off right above the line of the... I'm gonna draw it and then you come and have a look and see if I'm thinking correctly. Okay, and this will go over that. Can I get this? Looks really good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. No. Seal it up good, put some little screws in there. YouTube picks up on <laughs> what we just discovered. 
<laughs> That's true. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that one was a good one for sure. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this wool. Oh I yeah, that does look nice. Really vanished nice. it. Happy, happy. And a couple of people just noticed, said recently how beautiful and how big the windows are and how much they like well, them. Well, that's a score that you got like that's You started off with some nice windows. All I did was yeah. cut, cut the holes. Yeah, and then seeing my plan of the windows where I wanted them and then seeing like the furniture come together around them. It's True, just yep. like, the, back, the way the backsplash meets into the window there. It's just so pretty cool. Nice. You were washing your dishes and looking out the window. I know, it's just like, do 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 do, what a nice view. Get my mattress on the weekend, get to pop it in. You gotta go to a special foam guy? You got a special shape or how, what's your plan? Oh, so what happened with my mattress? Uh, I went to Sleep Country and I asked them about mattresses in a box. Yeah. And then because I've got my single bed nook underneath the bed, yep. I measured it out and I buy a king mattress. Okay. And I cut off. So this oh. is 52 inches wide and yep. then the other 21 inches goes into the single ma single mattress space. Oh, nice. Okay. And so I got to... You sure that it's okay to cut those? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. There well, is springs in it, so like tiny ooh. springs. So it's a mattress in a box with little springs. So you just got to find out where the line of springs ooh. is and cut between them. I don't know if I would do that. I don't know. I'd probably go for a whole uh, foam, like just foam one. You can get, I sleep on a just foam one. It's oh, a, it's I sleep a, a Y right a, now too. Yeah. Not a shitty, not like a camping just foam I one. I got but, an you know, extra like a firm. Nice, I got yeah. an extra firm mattress, so I'm pretty sure it will hold its shape. Even, yeah. But I've paid for it now, so we'll, we'll see what happens! Yeah, <laughs> Very good one. Yay! <laughs> sure. ah, Yay! Yay. Uh -huh. Now I just need my rope and shackles for my elevator bed and it's done! And the mattress! Thank you! It's going to be quite tricky. Okay. I have to eyeball it level because Taking a little picture for my Patreons to show them what I'm up to. <sighs> yes! Oh, I didn't show you putting this up, but isn't it gorgeous? Little corner cupboard. Many iterations. It's been a teal blue, 
a bright yellow, and then potentially a black. That's thick, heavy wood. And I'm just gonna, oh, I probably should bash in all of these nails. Or, we keep doing what crowbars are the best at, and hit them all up. my finger which is bleeding <laughs> I'm bleeding I should probably go deal with that all patched up oh I've got so many holes in my hands at the moment from building just cuts and scrapes so one there I cut my finger here there's a hole in my hand here the cut on the top of my knuckle. He can't win! Blood, sweat and tears, they say. Actually, I'd rather do less of the tears. Happy to do the sweat. <sighs> Blood just seems a little unnecessary. So, first thing you have to do when installing a new Cubic Mini is do a pre-burn. Normally you do this outside, I had to get it in yesterday because I'm on a time schedule, so I've opened all the doors and windows in the van. And we're going to do a burn because it will cure the paint and it might be a bit smelly. So, first fire in my fireplace! Woo! -hoo. All right. These are the fire bricks that I normally use anytime I'm using my fire in mystery. And so I'll be putting them, these in here, but I thought I would start by burning some scraps. Because there's so much rubbish lying around my van build, so I'm really excited to get rid of a whole bunch. And put those in later. I still have these ceiling pieces, which will go around the chimney at the top. I'm gonna put that in. I'm getting pretty close. can't even tell. I also got that vent siliconed in. Okay, now we can tell this it's coming out. <sighs> yes. Very happy. to get this burn done because there's smells coming off it with the paint that the cast iron's painted with so we'll get it all ventilated and pre like this is the initial burn and it's good to have it done yeah very very happy flossy and I got both the chimney seal. I sealed the chimney last night and I sealed the air fan vent for the wetsuit room today. It's scheduled to rain today. The silicon says it dries in 30 minutes, so yay, we did it in time! This is fun.
So, I have a whole pile of stickers and I thought on this door I would put them all up where the copper finishes so that bridging that edge of the copper onto the metal door was a sign underneath that which was one of the old perlator signs saying that I was the customer service and I was like you know what that is absolutely not me and I thought these stickers were just the perfect way to do it and then when anyone comes to visit they get to put their van up their sticker if they have them on the sticker wall Your sticker goes here! It's really starting to look like my home. Isn't that just beautiful? I think I showed you a whole heap of setting all of this up so far, but it just feels so good to be making house. Making my new house, putting my stuff, my energy, my love, my books, my food, my, my table. I'm taking the little table out of mystery that is really beautiful. It's a real special moment. Just to sit here and go, <sighs> wow, come so far and I'm kind of moving in. <laughs> oh. I just wanna like, can't wait to sit here and talk to you, record videos for you and this be my backdrop because I'm in my house and be proud of it <sighs> yeah that's where I'm at it just feels all a little bit surreal <laughs> but it's real and here we are Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It helps the channel out a lot and you won't miss future videos from me showing you like the final stages of moving in. There's a little few little things that we have to complete job wise, but this is my new house. I'm so thrilled. taken about 10 months to get to this point. I bought the step van in August. It is now April. Whew. They say van builds take a year at least. Yeah, you're pretty right. It's freaking exciting to be at this point though. You know, when you start, you think you're never gonna get there and you have to try and keep all your momentum and excitement up. But yeah, here we are. Da 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 da! <laughs>